Hello, Libra. Getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what's going on for you, Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. You have the energy of, ooh, you. That's always good. That means you're putting yourself first. You're seeing things clearly. Let's see. The other person. They have the sun, so that's good. How they view you. Four of Wands stable. Wow, Libra. Okay. So this is nice energy. So someone may see you as being you know, very straightforward. They may love being around you with the sun. Okay. What's the next action or advice? Ten of Wands. Okay. So what's the outcome? Three of Cups. Okay. There is a King of Wands under the deck. So obviously it could be a fire sign. Right, let's see what's going on here with this reading. So you're putting yourself first. So when you're in your own energy, that means you're not taking shit. You're looking at everything logically. It's your way or the highway. So Ace of Coin and the Five of Wands. Okay, so there could be some arguing with this person. Some type of offer, opportunity. Um, this could be, you know, fighting over commitment, the relationship. How they feel. Okay. This might be work-related, you guys, just heads up. This might be like arguing over pay or money or something like that. Uh, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but again, this might be someone who's like stingy. The devil and the six of coins, are they constantly breadcrumb? Or this person is like, you may want commitment with this person, ace of coin, and they don't. They may be someone who likes new things, fresh things. They're, you know, they may like to travel or be outdoors with the sun energy, but I don't think I like the devil with the six of coins together, especially with the other cards surrounding it. I could read it as someone who likes to obsessively shop, who spends a lot of money. I could read it that way. But um, what is the four of wands? Because they view you, though, as the four of wands. Uh-oh. Seven of coins and the fool. Well, that's like new beginnings. That's like having stability. It almost feels, okay, for some of you, this might be someone who wants your money or who looks at you like a bank or who sees you as, you know, like they actually like look up to you in a sense. Like they look at you like somebody who's worked hard, you made a lot of money or you're very stable. Um, what is the five of wands? What is the five of wands? The two of coins. So you're trying to make a decision about something. And what is the six of coins for them? Again, six of swords. We're moving on. This is a weird edit reading. I don't really know what's going on. The next action or advice, and it could be them, not you, is a Ten of Wands. So it's burdens. So Page of Wands and the Lovers. Oh. Well, this may mean someone needs to say something. This could be somebody, like, it's almost like this reading is based on money and security. This could be like someone's older or younger, someone pays for everything. One person has more money than the other. Um, this person likes you, but yet they may not show it. Like in romantic ways. Because this is like, okay, Ten of Wands are like, oh my gosh, I don't want to do this. This is heavy. This is overwhelming. But it's like, talk about love. Page of Wands, the lovers, tell them how you feel. Be more open. What is the Three of Cups? Because this is the outcome. Three of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Coins. So yeah, I feel like for some of you, this definitely has something to do with working together or, you know, being together in some way, the Eight of Coins. A hobby or something or um, it has something to do specifically with money things are going slow though take it slow ten of cups I feel like you guys may have a really good opportunity coming in here Libra you may have a new money opportunity or an oper option to move because it almost looks like you are making a decision trying to decide what to do about something that's coming in and you're saying you know I'm gonna put myself first so if this person is like just a lover, for some of you, this person is like more like a lover than like a, a marriage material or something here. Um, I feel like there's compromise. First of all, I feel like there's compromise. I feel like your outcome is compromised with this person. So someone is going to tell you how they're feeling. Maybe that's what I'm seeing. You have an opportunity that's going to be maybe leading you to something new, a new home, um, bigger home, I don't know, because you have good energy here. This is how they view you. <clears throat> this person, I feel like they don't know how to tell you what they're feeling. This person runs away from 
problems. They'd rather just like buy something and then bail. Like, like they don't want to express their feelings. That's what I'm getting here. And you're confused by this person, or maybe you know they like you, but you're just not going to deal with it anymore. Or you're you're going to go after <clears throat> your dreams. Excuse me. Yeah, someone's not saying something. They're like all choked up, and it's too much to say these kind of things. It's, but you're going to be okay. The outcome is like you're happy. Three of Cups. You're celebrating. At first, what seemed like sadness is like a new beginning. Listen to your intuition. Like this is going to work out. Things are going to work together. Maybe this person wants to go with you. Maybe this person pays for things or you pay for them. Moving on. This person's happy. You guys may be moving someplace possibly. Now keep in mind this may be farther out because three of wands just fell out. Maybe next three months, three to six months is what I'm getting. Hierophant. I feel like you need to make a decision that's very important to you as far as your life. And when you make that decision, things will fall in place with this person. That might cause them to speak up because I think this person really likes you with the sun card. I feel like this person is a lot of fun. This could be a newer relationship for some of you, but this is how this person is feeling. You're getting some type of maybe promotion or offer or new opportunity, or you're deciding to move somewhere because this to me is like a big commitment. So you may be giving up on this person is what I'm seeing here and it's going to make them speak up. It's going to make them say something. Definitely could be a Capricorn for some of you or somebody younger, a little bit, little bit younger than you or something, but does it need to be? All I see is things working out with this. I see it working out. Just put yourself first, Libra. Whatever this other option, opportunity is. Try new things. Whoops, cars just went flying out. So I have the Four of Cups here. And then I have the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Coins, the Hermit, and the Six of Swords. It's kind of like this person isn't giving you what you want. They're breadcrumbing you maybe. So you're like, you know what, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. I'm going to move on. Some of you definitely, you know, mentally or emotionally are moving on from this person. It could be a Virgo because I feel like they're too quiet. I feel like you've been waiting too long for this person to make a commitment. Maybe that's what I'm seeing. So you're like, you decided that you're no longer going to get the commitment from this person. So you're going to make some type of change but in the end again I see you like initially feeling sad about it but something else is going to work out I don't know if it's with this person it appears to be with this person or if it's with somebody else so what is the high priestess what is this that you're like listening to your intuition two of swords making a decision nine of yeah I'm getting make the decision does that make sense to you guys make the decision take the chance make the decision decision say yes say no move on move forward do the, do what you need to do and this person will end up following is what I'm getting because you're staying stuck I thought you're waiting for someone waiting for someone waiting for a commitment waiting for this person to take you know initiative take charge you have an opportunity or something that you want to either do or an opportunity coming in uh, you may make a lot of money coming up here this person is going to have to step up and I think tell you what they're feeling. Why is the Knight of Wands, I'm sorry, Knight of Coin here? Why is the Knight of Coins here with this person? Yeah. See what I'm saying? This person, it's going to bring clarity to the situation. So I think they're seeing things differently. I feel like they are afraid to lose you, is what I'm seeing here. I feel like they're really happy with the sun, the way things are but you're not, or you need more, you know, commitment, or you need to go do something different or new. And when they see that, that you're moving on, like you're leaving the status quo, you've waited too long, it's going to make them step up. They're going to see things differently, or you'll see things differently, but either way, it's going to make things good for you. Cause I see three of cups, not as third party here. I think like you're celebrating, you're happy, right? Because this is definitely, listen to your intuition, follow your intuition, Libra. You know what you need to do. Um, you've been putting it off. You don't want to do it. You've been waiting for this person, but you're going to end up happy. you got 10 of cups here. you got 10 of cups here. So I'm getting for a few of you, this is an actual move to a different location where like you like always wanted to live near the water, near the beach. And you're going to make that move. And this person was, wasn't really on board with it. They weren't really telling you what they were thinking or feeling, but they will now. Okay, I think you guys get the gist of it. All right, let me see. What can they say? What are they saying? Oh, something popped out at me. Photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Okay, some of you have already done this then. Some of you have already made this decision or you've told them your decision. You're telling them what you're decided. All of a sudden now, they're kind of like reminiscing. They're missing you. 
acts. Okay, break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. So I'm thinking of anything, there's a separation here, because it looks like you're almost like moving on, moving forward. We have the card of seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. There might be third party interference, there's three of cups is here, but I didn't see that in the reading. So what I'm thinking is there's probably attraction between the two of you and dating, flirting. That might make sense to some of you and others of you that may not make sense, so don't try to worry about it because under the deck it does say the sword and rose. So that's clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. And I'm kind of seeing that with this hanged man. Like it's like this person has clarity or you have clarity or everything's been kind of muddled up until this point. Um, maybe this person had to make a decision or needs to make a decision between you and somebody else or that's you that needs to make a decision. You are the best thing in my life. So yeah, some of you are separated from this person right now. You're not even talking to them. I want to feel that way again. I wish things could be different. So I just get Libra strongly in this reading. Do you do what you want to do and everything will fall into place. You'll be happy in the end. You deserve your Ten of Cups. So move towards your Ten of Cups. This person's going to miss you. If you want them to come with you or go with you, don't push them. Just move, go, and they'll follow. That's what I'm getting here. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.